What's up guys, Justin here from the CGEssentials.com back with another Blender Geometry Nodes tutorial. In today's video, we're gonna check out a Geometry Nodes setup that can quickly create power lines along paths inside of Blender. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so this is a setup that you can download from Blender SA. And so I will link to this in the notes down below, but basically this setup allows you to quickly add those power lines. There's a free light version if you wanna get in here and play around with some of the setups, or there's a full version in here for five dollars so you can um, you can get this at the link in the notes down below but let's take a look at what it does so this setup basically um, it, it's basically a geometry node setup that allows you to generate power lines along paths inside a blender so for example, if I was to click on this, then go into my modifier functions, you can see how there's a lot of different settings in here that you can adjust. So you can use this in order to create different kinds of power lines. So it has like four built in right now. I think you could also probably um, build your own and swap that out with some of these groups in here. I haven't really played around with that too much yet. But you can adjust the type of power line over here. You can also randomize those. So depending on what you're trying to do, you can add some random rotation in here. You can adjust that seed in here as well to get that real randomization. Um, but you have the option to randomize those as well as adjusting the distance between the poles in your setup. And so this is the kind of thing I've been waiting for with geometry nodes, um, the kind of thing where you can generate things that go along paths in here. Um, I will say, looking into the node setup itself, um, it's pretty complex. I'm not 100% sure I understand everything that's going on in here. There's just a ton of different uh, setups, and uh, I haven't really had a chance to go through them one by one, but you can definitely do that if you want to. But um, in addition to being able to adjust the pole distance, you can also add wind to the wires as well as how far these wires fall down and notice how these wires will actually intersect with the ground as well so as i uh as i as i make these longer you can see how these kind of run into the ground and they kind of sit there um, instead of going through the ground so you can adjust either one of the the wire cords in there as well. And so overall, this just gives you kind of a really adjustable setup in here for working with these different power lines. And so let's say we wanted to add this to our own path. Well, what we could do is we could come in here and we could do a shift A. And for now, I'm just going to add a simple path, right? And I'm just going to rotate that. So I'm going to rotate that on the Z axis. And then I'm just going to tab into edit mode. And I'm just going to make this path a little bit longer. So I'm just going to add some additional stuff in here. But then all we would have to do is just duplicate this object. So just do a shift D and move this over here. Then all you have to do is just adjust the path for this new object that we've created. So we've got this object over here, this duplicate that we've created, and we just wanna change the path to line with our new NURBS path that we've created here. Well now, that's following along with the path that we generated. So we could tab in here, for example, and start adding points. So let's say I was to do this. So if I was to just extrude a new point like this, you can see how this is automatically going to add lines along my path. So it's adding both the posts and the lines along this path. And then you can just come in here and you can just adjust this the way that we adjusted it before. So we can turn this down so that these don't hang quite as far. And so you can use this in order to create custom lines inside your models. And so let's say, for example, that we wanted to bring this into a new model, right? So um, a completely new Blender model. So we'll just do a file new like this. And then we'll just create a new plane. Well, then we would just find the file and we do an append. We would go into the collections and we would just find the electric poles generator collection and we would bring that in just like this. Then you can take the whole thing and just kind of move it off to the side. And so then we could create our new path and then we could just do the same thing we did before. We would just, we would just duplicate this and for this new object, we would just apply this to our new path. Like this. 
So overall, this is one of the things I'm really excited about with geometry nodes is this kind of application. I will link to a couple other videos about geometry nodes up above. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.